Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is draw debug cone. We'll run through our quick little example here, and we're going to draw a cone. And we're going to draw it using our debug commands, so it's going to be a cone we can walk through. There's no collision, and we can see it pretty much any time. And as you can see, it is literally a cone. So let's go ahead and look at the node and see how it works. Here I have the default cone. These are the default settings. And here's our example cone. So we're going to go ahead and go through the options. The two that matter are going to be the origin and the direction. The origin is basically where is our start point. So it's going to be this point right here. And the direction is which direction it goes in. Now this is in 0 to 1 space based on the x, y, and z coordinates. So if we run this, we go over here, we'll go ahead and eject out. Let me grab this sphere right here, not sphere, cube. You'll notice we have y is facing that way, x is facing that way, and z is facing that way. However, if we looked at this item and we looked at the way I have it set up, it's the same way, x, y, and z. We'll look at our map world, you'll see it's x, y, and z. So basically in world space, which is the direction we're going to draw our cone. Positive number means we draw in that direction. In this case, y is 1, so we draw in that direction. x, 0 means we don't draw in that direction. z, 0 means we don't draw in that direction. And so if I wanted a cone that went backwards, for example, I would change this to x1, y0, zero, z0, zero, and now the cone will draw in that direction, which is technically forward from me. Negative directions, of course, will give you a negative cone. And you can see here it's drawn towards me. Now you saw I did a negative 10. It doesn't matter. As long as it's a positive or negative, it'll draw in that direction. You can, of course, combine two different directions. So this will give us a cone at a 45 degree angle in both the Y and the X, but nothing in the Z. Our next two variables, well, the next one that matters is our length. Basically, how many units is it from start to end? So if we did, for example, 50, we're going to get a much more compact, whoops, 50, not 5,000, we're going to get a much more compact cone. And of course, if we did something much longer, like 400, we're going to get a much longer cone. Now that matters because that basically will determine the radius of our endpoint here. The angle width and the angle height is in degrees, if we read the note here, for how much of an angle we have on our cone. Now let me show you a 90 degree angle on the width so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's our start point. Our width is 90 degrees. You can see it's left and right 90 degrees because remember a quarter circle is 45. So we have 90 degree width for our cone. And then we have 10 degrees on the height for our cone. So this is how you define the width and the height in degrees of your cone, the angle basically, as you can see here. There's a 45. We'll set this back to something a little more sane, like 15 degrees on each, and then we're going to go with number of sides. And this is basically how many sides there are. We can hit zero, and you'll see we end up with four. Four is going to be the default because less than four isn't really going to give us anything really good for our cone. So anything between zero and four will be four. Anything above that will be the number of sides that we see here. So you can see that there are 25 sides around the cone end. And there's 25 rays that are being cast out, basically. Well, more than that, probably 20. I guess it would be 24 if there's 25 sides. But that's how many sides for our endpoint. We have a normal line color. In this case, it's red. We have a duration and a thickness. Duration refers to how long it will be displayed for. Right now, I'm doing it on a tick with a duration of 0. That means each frame. If, for example, I want it to be a set duration, maybe we're firing off a test. Well, you set the duration to something like 3, and then the duration would be 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, it's going to disappear. Thickness is how thick is our item. 0 is going to be our default. It's going to give us this tiny little line segment. If we set it to more thicker, like 1 or even 5, you're going to get a much thicker line. And that's it. That is going to be our draw debug cone. 
it's useful if you need to maybe simulate line of sight or if you want to do something like maybe indicate where your lines are being drawn on a light like you have a cone light and you want to be able to visually see something when you're debugging again takes in an origin and a direction where it starts and the direction it's going the length of how long it is the width and the height in degrees how many sides it is the color how long it will last for zero being one frame and the thickness of each line segment 